We're gonna do some hiking today. So I'm currently staying around Santa Monica. I've been here for a couple weeks now and it's been pretty cool, but I wanted to get out and do some hiking. So I searched online to see if there were any good hiking trails nearby and I found one. It's only like two miles away from where I normally hang out and it's called Temescal Canyon. Temescal? Temes Temescal? We're gonna call it Temescal. It was only like a five minute drive and I feel like I'm in a completely different town. So I'm here now, I'm sitting in the parking lot. I'm about to get out and explore a little bit. I did a little bit of research online. Apparently there's two trails that loop together that'll bring me back to the parking lot. So I think I'm gonna check those out. But like most of my trips, not many expectations. Throw a quick bag together here. Throw in a bottle of water. Throw a bottle of water, throw that in there. I got my bear spray. Hopefully there's no bears in the uh, hills of Santa Monica. Oh, I wanted to bring my drone, but it's illegal to fly a drone in any part of Santa Monica. I think the airport's really close by, so I don't know. I looked it up and it said no go on the drones. So first aid kit, hopefully don't need it, but I'll throw it in there just in case. Here we go. I think we're ready to go. Just gonna head out and start walking. See where the road takes me. I don't really know where I'm going, but I already realized that I parked way too close to the main road because I think I'm kind of far from the hiking trails. All right, so it actually wasn't too bad. I found it only about a quarter mile away from where I parked. So this is the trail that leads up and then it splits off into the ridge and the canyon trail. Those are the ones we're gonna take. I think we're gonna do the ridge first and then that'll loop around into the canyon trail. Let's head up and see what it looks like. When I was getting ready to do this hike, it was not sunny at all. And now it's blazing. And I didn't bring any sunscreen with me. So we'll see how it goes. And I only brought one bottle of water. <laughs> Apparently this isn't a too intense trail, so I should be all right. And there's shaded areas. Well, now it appears that the trail has completely disappeared. And I'm just in this big open area. But I just passed a woman who said that it does loop back to the parking lot. So if I pick the right way, I think I'll be okay. She said, keep bearing left. So that's what we're doing. But I still don't see an actual trail like we were just on. All right, I think she meant bear left after I go right. <laughs> so turning back around, see if there's a more appropriate path this way. All right, this one looks a little bit more promising. I think we're going the right way now. Also, just a side note for anybody who told me on TikTok and Instagram to get a dog for van life. Dogs are not allowed on this trail. So the pup would be sitting in the van right now while I was out exploring. So it's another notch against getting a dog. Also, a little tip if you're going hiking by yourself, you should always let family or friends know where you're going to be. Especially if you're in a place where there's not going to be any service. Being in the hills of Santa Monica, I thought that wasn't going to be an issue. But it is. No service at all. And I didn't tell anyone where I was. So, Mom, if you're seeing this now, it means I got out all right. All right, we're on a heavy incline here. I think we're getting to some good views, hopefully. But it also means we're in the sun. A lot more than we were. for a little water break. Definitely didn't bring enough. Getting pretty rocky. Whew. in the shade this time. That's it. All right, I just officially made the turn. Still uphill a little bit, but I think we're just right at the top. 
Made it to the top. Pretty sick views. So I'm not at the very top yet. I think that's it right there. But the views are still pretty awesome. And we're gonna be going downhill soon, so not too bad. All right, now I'm at the actual top. We have officially made it to the downhill portion of the hike. It's all downhill from here, baby. I was told the to bear left any chance I got, so we're going left. All right, I just saw a sign for Sunset Boulevard, and that is where the van is parked. So we are on the right path. Downhill is much easier on the cardio, but a lot tougher on the feet and the ankles. I feel like I'm gonna snap something every time I take a step. Made it back. However much water you estimate to bring on a hike, bring extra and then bring one more. Overall, this hike was awesome. It was a pleasant surprise. I had no idea that I was gonna be able to find something like this near Santa Monica. So it was cool to be able to get to do that today. And the fact that it was so close to where I normally hang out, that was pretty convenient too. So in total, the hike was about three miles and it took me a little over two hours to finish. The uphill was definitely the roughest part, but it still wasn't too bad. One of the most popular spots on this particular hike was a pretty cool bridge section with a waterfall, but because it hasn't rained in a while, the waterfall was pretty much non-existent. After I got to the top, I headed back down, continuing the loop, which was nice because I didn't have to double back down the hill and see the same thing that I saw on the way up. So I had a whole new scenic path to experience and it was pretty awesome. Overall, definitely recommend this hike if you have some time and you're near LA or in Santa Monica. It's not too tough and I think anyone can probably do it. I'm glad I was able to do it today. A little bit of a change of pace to the normal beach life that I've been living for the last couple weeks. So I'm glad I was able to do something here out on the coast. So that's it. Maybe, just like me, you learned that there's hiking available in Santa Monica. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you're subscribed here. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I do all different types of content. I do vlogs like this. I'm a music producer, so I do production tutorials. I make original music and remixes. So hopefully you can find something you can enjoy. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.